hello welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you on how to scale a plan either one in 500 one in 1000 one in 2000 one in 5000 10000 20000 after you plot after you finish plotting on on autocad are uh, for one in 500 this is the uh, border for one in 500 this is your boundary now you are done plotting so the next thing is uh, to put it into scale either 1 in 500, 1 in 1000 depending on the scale that suiting. The, the lower scale is uh, 1 in 500 if the boundary is uh, too big so that does not support 1 in 500 that is when you have to consider it to put it on 1 in 1000 if 1 in 1000 is small you change the scale to 1 in 2000 like that so now let's assume you are done plotting this boundary now you want to put it into scale so the first thing is that uh, you have to test scale of 1 in 500 for the scale of 1 in 500 now uh, we have for 1 in 500 the length is 156.638 while the breadth is a uh, 96.872 now let's assume you are done plotting now you are done plotting your boundary so you want to put it into scale so what you do is uh you come to you click on your polyline then you select you select or two and then you you press your distance that you want that is oh what is the distance for the length is 156.638 then you press 156.638 enter and then for the breadth that is a 96.872 press your polyline again then you select this 96.872 enter escape so after that you click on you come to rectangle and then you you join the boundary together you join the template together then you what you bring the template inside your boundary by moving it you press and enter or you come to this place you click on your move so and enter then you select it you can off the auto now so that it will allow you to be able to put it at the center now this template now this boundary now is inside the template of one in five hundred so let's confirm that you change it to ledger and then you change this to millimeter and then you you change this to 0.5 that is one in 500 and then you window what you want to print out then you click on It. then after I click on it you come to preview now you can see now using 1 in 500 so that is that on 1 in 500 so that one is in 1 in 500 you already know that uh, you put your title your everything here what I'm just doing is how to set template for 1 in 500 whereby I told you the, the length is uh, 156.638 and then the breadth is 96. 872. If you want to convert this drawing now, let's assume this boundary that is inside this template is bigger than this template. Now you want it to be on one in one in uh, one thousand. So what you simply do is uh, you select the the template for one in five hundred. Let's assume you have the template for one in five hundred. You select it, then you you right click and then you click on scale. Then after I click on skill, you're requesting to select the base point, so you select your base point, 
Now, after you select your base point, what you simply do is uh, on your calculator, you divide the new scale that you want to convert to. That is one in one thousand. So you now see one in one thousand divided by the old scale. That is the previous scale, which is scaling scale of one in five hundred. So what do you have? You have two. So what you just press as a scale factor will be two point zero. Then you press enter. Now you can see now this is now on one in two thousand Q. Let's move it away from the from one in five hundred. This is one in five hundred skill. This is one in one thousand skill. So this is one in one thousand skill now. Let's copy it. Let's copy it here. Let's assume we want to scale it. We want to scale this in a situation where by the boundary that is inside this template now does not fit in. So let's confirm this one in 1006 scale that I brought in. So what you simply do is uh, you come to printer and then you you, uh, you choose the printer that you want to do. So I have once used this printer before. So now you change this to ledger. Then after you change it to the ledger, ledger, you make sure this one is in millimeter and then you change this to one. That is, is now in one in one thousand. Then you window what you want to do. You window the template of your boundary. Then you preview. Now you can see now this is one in one thousand. Now likewise, if this boundary now, if this boundary does not is bigger than this template, I want to, I want it to be on one in two thousand. So what you simply do is uh, you select the whole boundary, you select the whole boundary with the template and then you right click and then you click on scale. So you select the base point. Now after you select the base point, I told you earlier on that you divide the new scale by the whole scale. So the new scale is in 2000 divided by the previous scale which is in 1 in 1000. So that is 2000 divided by 1000 so that is 2 so you just press 2 as a skip factor then you press enter so it's not much bigger than the previous thing that you have that is how to work on scale when plotting on when plotting a plan what you simply do is you have to be rescaling your your bank your templates you can as well change it from a bigger scale to a smaller scale. This scale as well, you can also divide, you can also convert, you can also change it back from a 1 in 2000 to 1 in 1000. What you simply do is, uh, you know, I told you a formula whereby the new scale divided by the old scale. So my new scale now, I want it to be on 1 in 2000. Ah, 1 in 1000. So what I'll do is, I'll highlight it then, I'll now say 1000 1, divided by 2000. That is 0.5. So by the time I'll be inputting my scale factor, so my scale factor will be what? My scale factor will be what? 0.5. Same thing 